At Vermont Electric Co-op, we think about innovation in a couple ways. First, we think about smart experiments. So thinking about what can we try that might be a benefit for our members and doing it in a way that we look at, did it work? Do we need to tweak it? Do we need to try a different tactic? And when it does work, then adopting it, moving it out and making it happen as a way to benefit our members, either in terms of affordability, reliability, or giving some of our members the energy choices that they would like. As we continue down the path of innovation, storage has been an important part of those solutions. Right now, battery storage in particular has been a technology that we've been continuing to deploy. So a battery is a device that's used to store energy that has been generated at one time and you want to save it and use it at a time when it's more valuable to you, whether that's an economic value or it provides backup power for reliability. For utility scale batteries, right now at Heinsberg, we have a large one megawatt battery. This battery could power roughly a thousand homes for four hours. We use the Heinsberg Battery Project primarily to reduce our load in the one hour Vermont peaks each month. The idea is that when the costs are high on the grid, we can release some of that stored energy and therefore reduce the power needs at that particular time. But what we're learning is how to dispatch that battery and predict when Vermont is gonna peak each month. We hope that over time we'll be able to use more storage at the utility scale level and help with other types of uh, challenges on the grid around intermittency of renewables and also resiliency. I think 10 years from now, batteries are gonna be used much differently than they are today. They're gonna to be an important tool for moving to the carbon-free economy, for capturing renewable energy when it's generated but there's not much load. But I think we'll also see a lot more smaller residential batteries as the price comes down and people want to have more reliability at their own home. And we are in the process of rolling out a residential battery program for VEC members. This is one more way for members who are interested to participate in the evolution of the grid at their own home or business. And it helps them because you would purchase a battery for your own personal resilience to replace a generator, move off fossil fuel, maybe pair it with solar. And if you participate in VEC's program, then we would pay for access to that battery when you're not using it to be able to participate in reducing peak demand for all of VEC's members and therefore help us keep costs affordable as a not-for-profit. Everything we do is for the sake of our members, of delivering them energy and doing it in a really affordable way. And so as we gain any savings from battery storage or other innovations that we do, that money goes right back to the members, helps fund future innovation, but also just keep rates low. And that's part of being a member-owned cooperative in a local rural area.